Welcome to our channel, The Big King Family. Don't touch that at all. No matter if it turn off, Tay Tay. Okay. I can do that. Okay. Hello, YouTube. Welcome and welcome back. Welcome to everybody who's new to our channel and welcome back to all the subscribers who have hung with us for our past three months that we have been on YouTube. Our channel is the Big King Family, and what we do is just show you what we we vlog and 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 we sometimes do challenges and. Uh, different reactions but we mainly vlog and tell you what we do in our everyday life we are a family of my my husband myself which we are the mom and dad we have nine children and we have one grandchild so um, today the video is going to be about something else that I do uh, myself as the mother of the Big King family I do a whole lot so you'll see throughout our vlogs that a lot of them be about different things I do but my husband is definitely the breadwinner he goes to work and he takes care of the family or the home so he does his job so I've uh, I found so many different things to do on my spare time and here's one of them get me in three okay I'm real excited about this video because this is something I've been doing a long time uh, see I got stuff wrote, written down you guys first okay um, I have been reselling for eight years since 2011 and I became a stay-at-home mom in 2012 my husband felt like he could take on the bills but he did give me a few bills to um, take care of because I was still getting a little income from this side um, from this little side hustle or whatever um, Poshmark and Macari so I've been selling on Poshmark and Macari for eight years and I've been at home a stay-at-home mom for seven years and um, this is what I do just for extra money so you can do it too very easy um, I won't go in detail on this video but this video just to show you some things I pick up to resell what I do is um, I did forget to tell you guys I started on eBay but I moved over quickly now I didn't move over quickly I probably was on eBay about four years then I transitioned over to Poshmark and Macari it just seemed like a much easier platform for me and my lifestyle in order to sell them. I know on Poshmark you do have to share your items, share, share, share. But you know, and that's no problem. Me being a stay at home mom, I'm able to do that three or four times a day. Um, I do buy slightly used items in order to resell on Poshmark and Macari. Um, I just want to let you know where I get them from. My main source of getting items is from the Goodwill Outlet. That is a place where you go to and they sell clothing, purses, shoes by the pound. Normally it would be between $1 and $2 a pound. Once you get up over a certain amount, like at our Goodwill outlet, once you get 20 pounds, it goes from $1.35 or $1.29, something like that. It goes down to only $0.99 cent a pound. So you could get a cart full, which is about 25 pounds, worth of items for just 25 bucks. That is awesome because a lot of times these little shirts and even pants and jeans are no more than 10 to 12 ounces. Even pants and stuff, they can be like 10 to 12 ounces. So you can get four to five items with a dollar. So that is really, really, really awesome. I love Goodwill Outlet. That's my number one go-to place to get inventory. Second, I do have a thrift store here in Rockford. It's actually called the Thrift Store. And every Monday they have what you call 50 Cent Day, where you can get the heavier items like blazers, uh, blazers, jackets, sweaters, and, and jeans for only 50 cent a certain color is 50 cent every Monday and you better believe I go there and I be hitting them up um, and then third last but not least um, not really last but um, people give me stuff people give me stuff all the time giving 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 always giving me clothing my main clothing person is my mom when I go to Arkansas she sends me back with boots of stuff because she's always getting stuff always always getting stuff she has plenty of grandkids and children I also have Oh, man, I got six daughters, so you know it's a lot of clothes in between all of us. So a lot of times they give me items to go ahead and sell that they don't want anymore. Clothes and shoes and purses and whatnot. Okay, but, however, good we do have Goodwill and Salvation Army stores, but I hardly ever go there because they are so expensive. Me, with my prices in my store, in my Poshmark store, and Macari store, 
they are so reasonable that I can't see myself paying three and four dollars for a top and seven and eight dollars for jeans and dresses. I just cannot see myself paying that five to six dollars for shoes. I, I, I don't think I would really profit trying to sell items from the Goodwill store or the Salvation Army store. However, the Goodwill the Goodwill store be having days and it's every last Tuesday of each month where every item in the store is only one dollar and fifty cent. So I do go check that out every once in a while. Even though I have my fifty cent days at the thrift store, I get a lot of items for free people give to me. And also um at the uh Goodwill outlet where I'm getting stuff for about fifty cent to seventy five cent a piece very more and more reasonable at the goodwill outlet and the 50 cent day at the thrift store but for a dollar and fifty a lot of times i found very very good items at the goodwill store okay so that's where i get my items at okay i promise you guys this is the last thing i'm gonna tell you guys and then we're gonna get right into the haul i only have eight items so this is a real small haul but i really love the items that i found to resell i'm gonna tell you what i found i'm gonna tell you how much i put it up for resale and i'm gonna tell you um a little bit about the item all righty but number three that i wanted to uh, let you guys know was my selling strategy selling strategy my selling strategy it's always changing because you never know what's going to sell and what's not going to sell. Anything can sell. Anything can sell. And we know that anybody in the reselling community or anybody that wants to start selling, you sh I mean, if you love clothing and shoes, you know that the prices fluctuate. One thing may be hot one day and then the next day it's like... Pfft. You can't even make two or three dollars off of it so it's always changing just keep going with the flow keep going with the flow and uh, whatever is selling for you you keep selling those items if you were to start selling on Poshmark or Macari whatever is selling for you you keep on selling those items now a little tip though if you have some things that might not be selling so quickly for you you want to sell items between you want to keep them from like a month to three months some things may be longer. If it's a really nice Gucci, authentic Gucci bag, yeah, you might have to wait a year before that to sell. But somebody will buy it because it's a really nice quality. But if it's something else like a Lane Bryant top, they sell beautiful items, I kid you not. But some of those items don't sell for me so quickly. So uh, you might want to get rid of them. And one way to get rid of them is probably through a consignment store. You can take the items that stay in your closet or in your store online too long get them together and uh, make sure you take them out of your inventory on your store now first and then you take them over to the consignment store there are consignment stores who do not take your items and try to sell them and give you a little bit every month or whatever no there are i only deal with consignment stores who pay you cash out their door like plato's closet and we have another one here called treasure galore that i deal with often the items that I don't want, I take them over there and I get a little change from that. And then I go flip that back into other items that I believe will sell. Now, I only keep two to 300 items in my store at all times. That's all that I can kind of handle. And that I can store here in this small apartment. So, that's my strat selling strategy. Just roll with the flow. Things are always changing. Things are always sell the price points on different items are always fluctuating so what you do is go with the flow and whatever is selling for you keep selling okay so we're doing this in different clips and stuff but um, i only have eight eight items to show you okay so not into the items i think they're very cute and very nice items first i have this wild fable crop top the reason i'm pointing here is because i'm going to try to insert the pic right here so you guys can see what i got up you know what i got it up for and all this and that it's wild fable crop top it's a large and it's long sleeve i think this is very cute it has a plunge neck it's in excellent condition and it is just really cute i really like it but now let me show you what it looks like okay here it is right here it's kind of what i thought that that was so cute. I thought I thought it was so cute. I mm -hmm. I'm just gonna hold it up in front of me. It's long sleeve, that plunge neck. I don't know exactly what you would put under there. Probably just a little tank or something. Or if you just want to wear your bra, go ahead, do you? And then we have that bag. I like at the bottom right there where that button is at. Mm -hmm. it's very cute. And then the arms they gather at the end. You know they kind of gather. It's not elastic though. They kind of gather at the end. So I really thought that 
was really cute. And I do have that up for $20. Okay, next is an Eileen Fisher top. It's a large and it is a 100% silk top, Eileen Fisher. And I thought this was a really nice top. Here it is right here. I already have it up for sale. I have it up for sale for $25. And I'm going to show it to you live and in person. Okay, this is it. And it's just a regular silk top. But Eileen Fisher is a good brand. And a very, um, very good quality. Very good brand. Stands behind their name. It is the old label, Eileen Fisher. But it still sells. 25 mm -hmm. bucks for a silk top. I think it's pretty good. Okay, we have a JC Fitz crop top. And it's about a medium large. It did not have a size tag on the inside of it. So I just measured it pit to pit. And it was about 20 it was about 20 inches pit to pit. And normally between 18 to 21 inches is about a medium or a large. So I just put medium large. And then you can go at your own discretion. Um, if the buyer looks at the um, measurements, they'll know if they can fit it or not. And then so um, it also has some cute little silver hardware down the middle of it. Here it is right here. Okay. And so you can see I already have it up. And it is for $18. Now let me show it to you in the life, in real life or whatever. Okay, it's like this. Oh, it no. was a t-shirt that somebody actually cut up. I think that's very cute. You see it got the little things down the middle. Mm -hmm. It's like that. A lot of people wear these. These are so cute. Like with some high waisted jeans and stuff. Mm -hmm. Very cute. So, yeah. And it says rock roll on it. So very cute. So I have that up for 18 bucks in my closet. By the way, my Poshmark, um, my Poshmark link will be in the description and my Macari link. Next I have a pair of Hollister jeans. Um, they are a size zero. They are a size double zero. And um Smaller people, they have kind of like a harder time finding items. And larger people have a kind of a harder time finding items. So when I see a really small item or a, a much bigger item, I definitely uh, look at it and see if I think it's something that might be selling. I think these will sell because I really like the way they look. So let me show them to you. They're up, by the way, for $25. And here they are. They're very cute. They're all cut out and stuff. Mm -hmm. Very cute, and then they have this raw hem right here. I really like that about it. that's really in style now. I see a lot of people have some those on like with the little yep. And my daughter to let me know she got some of these yep. But they're really in style now, so these are very cute. They're a dark wash, well, so they'll probably go they'll go with everything, you know. So I think mine's air possible. I really like those. Mm -hmm. They are up for twenty five dollars, okay? Mm -hmm. And they're in my closet. Next, I have this faux leather jacket. And it's a gray jacket. It's very cute. It's kind of cropped somewhat, you know. So you would put it on. It actually has a hood to it and it's long sleeve. So it would be cute for the fall for right now. It's not really a winter jacket, but it's a really cute jacket to just put on and to wear with jeans and boots. So here's the jacket right here. And now I'm going to show it to you in real life. I do have it up for $35, as you can see, in my closet. So now here it is. It's like this. I thought it was really cute, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Tilt? I think that was yeah. really cute. And then here's the back of it. Oh, got a hood. Yeah, it has a hood to it. The buttons are loosely, you know, connected to the hooded part, but mm -hmm. I don't think that's gonna decrease the value. You can always lose the hood. I just put more buttons on it, kind of on a snugger basis. So that you can always mm -hmm. use the hood, you know. So I thought that was really cute. It also has these two. These are real pockets. You know how sometimes they have the fake pockets or whatnot. These are real pockets in the front. So that's a plus too to have the pockets. Mm -hmm. So I do have that up in my closet for thirty-five dollars. Okay. We have an American Eagle pair of jeans. American Eagle jeans sell pretty good for me. It's a it's a mall brand, but it really sell. They sell pretty decent for me. And actually, I went on Friday to the Goodwill outlet and got these items. And as you'll be able to see in the video before this, when I did this braid out or whatnot on my hair, uh, during that day, I, I went to the outlet and that was Friday. 
and that was just Friday and today I'm filming this on Sunday and I put these American Eagle jeans up and they're already up in my closet as you can see they have already sold and I had put them up for $22 but I took an offer for $20 and they sold so let me show you them now in the right now I send them off tomorrow which is Monday so I'll make sure they get off first thing tomorrow yeah, sold something to the person. So that has already sold. These have already sold for 20 bucks. They are size, they were size zero zero also. So as I told you, the smaller people, they really be trying to look for things. And I mean, they're, on the front, I like the way they're ripped up all the way down. Very cute, very cute. And they can just put tights on during the fall and winter months and then they're ripped up on the back also. So, and this, this is a light wash jean. So it's really cute. It's already sold them for 20 bucks. So, man, man, man. Let me see the bud. already sold so but these are the type of items that I pick up just to resell and I only pay an average of about 50 cent per item okay next I have this LL Bean coat it's a big heavy coat for the winter it's an, a men's coat and it's an extra large so when it comes to men's I really do be looking for extra large or bigger because those sell better for me than the small to large but I will pick up the small to large men item depending on what it is but this is a big old LL Bean coat it is corduroy, kind of like on the front. It has big double pockets in the front. You will see it. Here it is right here in my closet. I already have it up for $55. Um, I always check my comps and check what's been the first, the last 10 to 20 items that have sold recently. You know, like the last 10 to 20 items that have sold. I just check that and see what they're selling for. And this, you know, from the comps is telling me that $55 was a good price to put it up at. And it's lined with wool, with some wool, like I think 10 or 20% of wool lining. So it's going to keep you very warm and it's a heavy coat. And I'm sure it costed more than $55 to begin with. So now I'm going to show it to you in the real life. I, I just put it up. I got these items Friday and I've been putting them up Friday, Saturday, and some up even this morning. So here's the coat. Okay, here's the coat. It's really big and heavy. And as I showed you, those pockets are double pockets. They, you can like, you can go in this way, or else you can pull the chest pocket that zips and unzips. Very heavy. The lining is really, I like the lining, it's uh, plaid, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a plaid lining. Wool and warm, but it's not the itchy type wool. So it's gonna be warm mm -hmm. and nice. For, I mean, it's kind of good. You probably can go out hunting in this. Um, the men probably can go out hunting in it or whatever. It's very heavy, very good coat. And it is in my Poshmark closet. Another thing I picked up on Friday. Last but not least, I have these BC, BG. It's really BC, B girls. I don't know exactly what the whole thing stands for. I'm probably have to look that up. But BC, BG girl boots. Um, they're size 7.5. And, and in European size, they're uh, 37.5. And they are leather and they are highly distressed. They look, you know, like that rough old looking kind of like um, mm -hmm. you have fry boots. And then you have the other one that is, I can't think of the name brand of it. But I know the fry boots, a lot of them come very distressed like that. And then you have the other one that is very, it was very expensive. And it's a boot that's always kind of highly distressed. But anyway, I might have to check that. I'm going to have to think of what that name of that those boots and shoes are that are highly distressed also. But these are some BG, BC, BG boots. They're right here. And they are up for $49 in my Poshmark closet. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I believe that's a reasonable price for them. I believe at the store, they probably would have been a lot more. Uh-oh, my head probably got in the way. But, okay, so now here are the, yeah. have the other one that is very, it was very expensive. And it's a boot that's always kind of highly distressed. But anyway, I might have to check that. I'm going to have to think of what that name of that those boots and shoes are that are highly distressed. Also, here are the boots um, right here. I have not sold them yet. They're in my closet. So here are the boots right here. Okay, I'm going to put them up like that. You can see them really good on this side. They're in really good shape really good condition but they are as i tell you highly distressed see it's all marked up and stuff that's factory like you know they it meant to look that way and stuff but very very nice boots that heel is a three and a half inch heel it's a three and a half inch stack kind of thicker heel 
So mm -hmm. you you can't really beat that. I like the thicker stacked heel, probably because I'm a little bit heavier. So I guess definitely have to have the support of a stacked heel. So these are really nice and cute. They're up for forty nine dollars. Thank you for being with me and through this haul. I really appreciate it. And um, if you like these Poshmark hauls, I'll, I'll know because I'll see how many views I get on or whatnot. Or if people are interested, I'll continue to do uh, Poshmark hauls. Just showing you what I buy to resell. And um, please like, comment, subscribe. And have a great week.